Hello ladies and gentlemen, greetings Mac Warriors. this is TTB speaking and welcome back to Mac Warrior Online. Today we're running the Revenant, the hero mech of the mad dog variety that came with the Solaris package and we're pushing in on River City in a dark, dark night. So let's push on forward. Hello. Thank you. Please stop shooting my back. What's going on here? Um, well, looks to me like the Warhawk is, I don't know, trying to shoot his teammates in the back. It's quite interesting that he's the only guy that has health left. I don't think it was a Fafnir, so it's like, what's your problem, dude? Okay, now, notice that I'm not retaliating here because it's pointless. Um, if I kill him, which would not be a problem for me, then, um, you know what happens, right? Yes, I get penalized, so... Pointless in doing that, unless he's actually trying to really take down teammates. Pointless to do anything here. It's literally pointless to do anything here, except just play the game and focus on the match at hand. And that is exactly what we'll do, ladies and gentlemen. We won't go into a grudge match against our teammates, nope. We will forge on ahead and try to deal some damage. Over there we do have a Narc Uzeal, interesting. Okay, let's go ahead and push on through Echo 6-ish. Nope, okay, never mind. Yeah, that changes to the face says otherwise, so let's go back to Fox 5, get into cover. Okay, so as you can see, the Revenant build I chose for myself, it is pretty straightforward. We've got ER small lasers as a backup weapon and four SRM 6s with Artemis to bring the damage. And that is a tried and tested build that has worked so many times, so hopefully it'll go ahead and work today. And it's still very dark here, hard to see something, it's a dragon flame hero mech over there. We're getting fader right now, so we should have the advantage in a sec. And I should be able to push across here, let's see, what is that? Alpha coming in, that's the Uzeal, okay. Now here's the thing, if the Uzeal pushes in into me, I should be able to outtrade him. So let's move ahead and hide a little bit more. Yes, I realize what I just said. TTB said I'm going to hide. And I'm going to try to lure the Uzeal in. And once he has taken the bait and shoots my teammates, or starts to shoot my teammates, that's the point where I'll pounce. And I think the time should be right, right about now. TTB is engaging in Fox 6. And I am getting restless. There we go, there's the Uzeal. Okay, let's push it on him. Okay, he's got large pulses, but we have his back turned, and boom! One shot to the back, woo! Side torso out, CT yellow, that was a nice hit, and uh, let's go ahead and chase him down and make it official, if we can, so, hello. Is he drunk? Where are you going with so zeal? There we go, one more shot, still alive! Alright, buddy, you wanna do it the rough way? Let's do it the rough way. CT is not open, but the side toes is open. One more shot should actually do it. There we go. Teammate takes him down. And we can push in towards our mateys. We are knocked right now, but that should be fine. Hopefully there's not too many missiles coming our way in a sec. And uh, yep, there we go. Speaking about the missiles, there they come. But I don't care because I have a bridge. The bridge is mighty. Perfect. Okay. That's an enemy locust with one medium laser and two machine guns. I have no idea how you can arm a locust that little. But uh, maybe it's a troll, but I don't know. So, the team is pushing in on the Fox 7 side, and my assault mech here in Fox 6 is going to need some help, some backup right now. Otherwise, he's gonna die. So, I'm gonna push in on India. Let's deal some damage on that cataphract. Yep, he is done. Well, he was pretty much damaged apparently. That's okay. Archer coming in, shooting at my teammate, I can't let that happen, so let's go ahead and help him out a little bit. Side torso is open, side torso is gone, he's dead, perfect. Okay, two targets up in the middle, unfortunately I don't have an airstrike or something else to deal with that right now, so let's just hide and get in closer and find some targets. Like that kilo over there, that's a Lerm 20 and neither mean baby. Somebody has been building Dr. Lermenstein, interesting. Now the main weakness of Dr. Lermenstein, uh, apart from crabs that just don't move and block your way, is that you can't really fight that well at melee range. And fighting that well at melee range, I mean you can't fight at all, you can just stand there and die. So that's exactly what we're doing right now, we're pushing in on the... Well, never mind. Suddenly Timberwolf, that's okay, and suddenly Dragon. It's like, did I just order all these enemies to push in on me? That's fine. 
that wasn't fine though. <laughs> Dragon is actually building fire and roasting me a little bit here. But it's okay, we're fine, we're fine. And we should be able to push in any second right now, especially if our teammates find the W buttons. There we go. Hello, Mr. Mean Baby. Come on, buddy. Can you please move? Ah, this is annoying. Okay. Let's still try to chase him down. Now he's going this way. I'm gonna go the right hand way. And hopefully, we'll cut off the Annihilator and take him down. There we go. Hello. Pew! One, uh, one more shot could actually do it. Nope, not quite. Let's go into the lasers. Yep, he is down. We drop down and then push in onto the Gulf 5 Hotel 5 area. Should find some more targets there. And once we take those out, that should have been all she wrote. Okay. Bravo coming up Supernova with ERPPCs and Gauss Rifles in a composition that screams Ghost Heat, so we won't be dealing with that. I've got some target behind me right now, which is a little bit annoying, I'm trying to ignore him as much as I can. Come on, stop blocking me, please. Okay, there we go. That was uh, fun. <laughs> okay, so that's the guy that was shooting me as an assassin with SM2s and one ER Arch Laser. And Juliet down here is. Uh, playing the swimming locust game but if you've got somebody that actually can aim SRMs this hurts a lot there we go leg is gone and life is gone perfect one more target left I think he's somewhere around here like Fox 6 area let's see where is he hiding okay well apparently he's hiding somewhere else I can't find him right now so Let's go on ahead and start capping because it's not looking too good right now. The enemy only needs about 150 points to capture, 175 to be exact. And uh, they've got Epsilon, they've got Gamma and they've got Sigma. So let's go ahead and move on over to Epsilon because that is the closest point to me. And uh, let's try and get that. And yeah, if we get two more points we should be fine. The enemy can have one point, that's okay, that's not too problematic. But if they have two, they could actually win this, so let's make sure they don't. And just spread out creatively. And that is something that a lot of teams struggle with, especially puggy teams, uh, where people just blindly wander off and then you have like five people going to one spot and nobody else going to the other two spots they need to cap. So try and coordinate, guys, and keep your voice comms open. It's really, really helpful. Okay, now we're getting all the capture points, that is good. That should stop them from capping any second now. And there is the last target, it's a death from before, and he's very far away, I can't do anything against him, 1700 meters, but the team should be able to take him out easily. And it looks like it actually was the Warhawk that was shooting all backs, so, um, well, the King Crab and the Fafnir apparently decided that <laughs> enough is enough and they just shot him. Okay. Not again, guys. Um, it's a little bit, it's a little bit bad that the system is set up in a way where if somebody starts to team kill uh, the team, there's n you can't really deal with it. I mean, the, there's a high chance the match will be problematic. So, well, if you see somebody doing something like that, just report them, and that's it. There's always the next drop. So, let's see. He is currently sitting on Kappa, but he has no chance to win, like zero chance to win. Let's see, team damage, there we go, and then, yeah, he's CT open right now, and during all this time, walking around and talking to the teammates, I've actually almost made it towards the assassin, <laughs> I just realized, and uh, he might not even die before the capture points run out. Oh, there we go, never mind, John McFuzzy takes him out, very, very nice, alrighty. Let's go ahead and have a look at the scoreboard and see how we did in this round and then move on to the second drop. First things first, statistics. 2 killing blows, 7 assists, 2 kill most damage dealt, 859 damage done and 8 components taken out. I would say it's a pretty solid round in the Revenant in my little brawler loadout and uh, yeah. Quite, quite a nice mech. It runs fast, 81 kph, has a little bit of armor and uh, is able to brawl quite well, so if you like that kind of style, try it out. Speaking about trying it out, let's push in with our team here onto the uh, Echo 7, Fox 7 area potentially. Um, <laughs> look at Gulf 6 on the map guys, two assaults AFK. 
I don't understand it guys, what is it always with Assault players being AFK at the start of the match? If you plan on being AFK at the start of the match, play a medium mech or a light mech, for crying out loud, don't play an Assault. <laughs> Chances are you have enough trouble pushing W anyways, right? Already. So, let's have a look at the intel that we can get. I saw an Assault mech blip up between Echo Over 6 one. and from Echo 7, there's another one Echo 6. Yeah, apparently the enemy is massing in Echo 6 right now and they're pushing towards Fox 5. So the team will need some backup there. That is a emergency Scorch with LB20s and SRMs. Let's see, can we get a shot in? Unfortunately he's a little bit too far away from my SRM6s, but the lasers can shoot. And now the SRMs come in. Boom. Alright. His leg is open. He's basically ready to drop. One more shot on the leg should actually cripple him and then he's got a problem. Yep, got the one lick in onto Crab and now I'm getting duck at by that Marauder. Oops, there's even a Roughneck coming up and an Irby and long story short, way too many targets, way too much fire that I'm taking right now, so I'm out of here. Let's go ahead and move towards a different location. And as you can see on the map, one of the Assault packs has finally woken up three minutes into the game. Ah. Oh guys, okay, let's push in on Foxtrot at Supernova, apparently wants to die, large pulses and gauze rifles, okay, let's go in and help him out a little bit with some missiles, and there he's gone, perfect, let's turn around the other way and push in on the next target, it should be right around the corner, if I can find it though. Oh, there he is, uh, then suddenly Fafnir, I don't want to deal with him, and that is a dragon that's stuck hiding me, and my CT is open right now, so 62% of my mech left, I need to be very careful right now, oh, it's an enemy Orion, okay, let's give him some damage, shoot over our teammate, shoot the SRMs potentially once more, here we go, I'm just trying to sneak in damage without exposing myself and without getting too close, because if I get too close, I make myself a target, and... I don't want to get hit by an Orion. Okay, he's down. Let's push in further with our Zeus buddy. Now, oh, Charlie, that is a Fafnir. If you act five, I don't want to be messing with that guy. Especially not without backup. But when this Komish actually goes ahead and pushes in, the story might be different. So let's see, there's Charlie coming up and he is getting some damage in his face. We'll shoot him again. And right side torso should be ready to drop. There we go, it's gone, and the city is also gone. Perfect. Six kills over on four. This is still not decided, guys. So let's go ahead and help decide it. Pushing in with the Skokomish on our side. Oop, what is that? That's a Marauder. It's the Marauder from before that was duck eyeing me. Let's try and juke him a little bit and then shoot him through the city, hopefully. Uh, not a good shot with my lasers, unfortunately, but teammates are cleaning it up. Target Gulf coming up, that's an Irby, he is almost dead, I missed my SRM, so unfortunately I don't get the kill here. And that Ravnik is also dropping, but whoa! Hello sir! Where did you come from? Medusa out of nothing, let's see if we can get him down before he kills our teammate. <laughs> I love that Warhorn, just for that stupid laugh. Alrighty. Whew, that was a close one in terms of surviving it, so let's go ahead and have a look at the scoreboard. One killing blow, 8 assists, 1 solo kill, 2 kill most damage dealt, 3 components taken out, 640 damage done. Nothing to write home about, but overall just a solid round and uh, we were able to survive and that is the main point here. Okay, let's have a look at the build, it is extremely straightforward, 4 ER small lasers, 4 SM6s with Artemis and the rest is just ammo and double heat sinks and that is all you need to have fun with this mech so go ahead try it out let me know how it works for you and I will be seeing you guys on the battlefield and remember guys aggression wins available now link in the video description below thanks for watching